In this video, I'm going to share with you all you need to know about wall painting as a beginner or even an experienced painter. And by the end of this video, you will have learned how to estimate the amount of paint you need to paint your walls, how to mix paint, and you'll understand all kinds of paint and all procedures you go through when doing wall painting. So be sure to invest 6 minutes of your lifetime. Just 6 minutes and watch this video till the end, it will change the way you paint your walls forever. Basically, we have 4 common types of paint. One, we have undercoat emulsion paint. This word emulsion in painting means a mixture of water. So when mixing emulsion paints, be sure to use water and not any other. Undercoat is used to provide a non-absorbent base for other emulsion top coats of paint. Two, silk vinyl emulsion paint. This kind of paint is applied on interior wall surfaces and is ideal for domestic use in kitchens, bathrooms, stores, sitting rooms bedrooms, passages, and generally inside the house. 3. Weather guard or weather shield paints. We apply this kind of paint on exterior walls. As its name, its major purpose is to use to protect external walls against unfavorable weather conditions. We apply it on boundary walls like this one, on exterior walls of houses, or even skirtings. The fourth common type of paint is gloss paint. It is an oil-based paint and when applying it, we mix it with paraffin, kerosene, or petrol gasoline to a required viscosity. We apply it on woodwork like this one and also on metallic surfaces, for example windows, door frames, plus other metallic surfaces. In summary, the four common types of paint are undercoat emulsion paint, which is a water-based paint, Silk vinyl emulsion paint, which is also a water based paint, weather guard emulsion paint, which is also a water based paint, and gloss paint, which is an oil based paint. During the process of painting your walls, you go through five easy steps. The first step is to know the amount of paint you need to paint your walls. You estimate this by simply determining the area of your walls in square meters. To avoid complex calculations to determine the amount of paint required, the concept is quite easy. If your wall is 4 meters along this length and 3 meters along the height, its area is 3 multiplied by 4 which will give us 12 meters squared. Therefore, we need 12 liters of undercoat and 12 liters of either silk vinyl for interior walls or weather guard paint for the exterior walls as the final coat of paint. Similarly, when your wall is 127 meters squared, you need to purchase 127 liters of undercoat and 127 liters of final coat paint, as simple as that. We derived this from site experience after working on several construction projects and confirming its high accuracy. Step 2 is to mix the paint. When mixing emulsion paints, the concept is that when you have 20 liters of packed paint, add 10 liters of clean water and stir properly. When you have 200 liters of paint, add 100 liters of clean water and stir well before use. I hope that's more clear. Step 3 is to apply undercoat. This is the first coat or base coat for other emulsion paints. We first remove all loose and flaking material down using sandpaper to clean all walls before applying any paint. Then apply filler to all dents on the wall surfaces where the surface is rough. Filler looks like this. It is a mixture of whiting powder, white cement mixed with undercoat liquid. We mix this three to make a paste which we then apply on these even spots or dents on the walls. Use sandpaper to clean properly every spot so that the whole wall surface can be smooth evenly. After sanding the walls, apply the second coat of undercoat so that all rooms will look like this smooth enough. Therefore, in summary, you apply at least two coats of undercoat before applying any other coat of paint. Step 4 is to apply at least two coats of paint of your favorite color to your wall surface. When I say two coats, I simply mean paint with your roller or brush from this side of the wall to this side of the wall. Wait for at least two to three hours and repaint from this side of the wall to this side of the wall. As I've said before, apply the two coats of paint to the walls by brush, roller, or any other air spray equipment. For scatting, we usually apply this black paint of weather guard type. We ensure the paint remains thick like this to make a smooth, smart, and non absorbent finish coat. Step 5 is to paint doors and window frames plus wooden furniture using super gloss paint. 
mixed with paraffin, kerosene, or petrol gasoline to a required viscosity and stir well before spraying. Apply one coat of primer, one coat of undercoat, and then apply gloss paint finish. Unlike other paints, gloss paint requires that after each coat, leave for at least 16 hours of drying time before applying the next coat of paint. In summary, when applying paint to your walls, remove all loose and flaking material down. Use sandpaper to clean the pre-painted surface. Apply the first coat of undercoat. Apply filler on the dense or rough spots on the walls. Apply the second coat of undercoat paint. And lastly, apply at least two coats of either weather guard or silk vinyl paint to the wall surface. That's all for today. I hope you get something from me. If you really found the information in this video helpful to you, hit that like button. And if you are interested in more construction videos like this one, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching.